We now have Portland Nightshaders shirts and hoodies down in the description below. Be sure to pick one up today if you do want to support us moving into the APA and NCP season. Okay, guys, so we're gonna get connected with Josh here. We're gonna go ahead and see what he brought. You can check out the team paste down below. If you did skip the team builder, he is, of course, streaming this. So we'll see what he brought. Josh, you forgot your threats at home, Buster. So no Hatterene, which is phenomenal. I think he's gonna be, I didn't say this on my team builder, but I was kind of expecting if he did bring knocked out to be a tailwind knocked out for speed control. I think that makes a lot of sense. No Dracovish, which is insane. And instead he brought Shuckle, which kind of blows my mind. I'm not gonna lie. Shuckle, he might be contrary shell smash Shuckle. That would be really scary actually. How do I deal with that? I don't, I do not. So Shuckle does bring Ferrothorn, does bring Rhyperior, does not bring Kafagrigus. So he did not bring three of the Pokemon that I thought were or two of the three Pokemon that I thought were pretty big threats. I put Kafagrigus a second time. What do you bring? Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak. Okay, so as far as lead matchup goes, uh, I, I wasn't lead Weavile, but against this team, it does not look that good of a lead anymore. Uh, why does Rupert not have an item? Why did Rupert's item not... Ha, okay. Um, that's annoying. My Pyapa Berry. Is this the right Rupert? I don't know, dude. I think I'm going to lead Torkoal. Uh, I'm thinking too long on it. I, I got to lead Torkoal. Or I could lead, actually... I'm going to lead Flygon. I think Flygon's a phenomenal lead. I hope I get to check all six in. Go, go, go. Okay, we got it. Okay, that's very annoying that Rupert doesn't have an item, actually. We don't have our Pyapa Berry. Which, I don't know if that'll be the biggest deal in the world. I don't know if he'll ever hit us with a move. I hope it doesn't come into play. I hope this is the right Rupert. I hope I grab the right Venusaur, man. I really do. Jin, what is this, Rhyperior? Awesome, okay. So, I think he might have Ice Punch. We do not live in Ice Punch, obviously. But, what do I need Flygon for? Rhyperior. Uh, I think I might just go ahead and switch into Torkoal, because I think he either gets his rocks up or he puts Ice Punch here. There's not really an in-between play that he has. Could also go into Gastrodon. Actually, Gastrodon's pretty free now that I think about it, because he did not bring Dracovish, so this is absolutely fine by me. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll see right here. We'll see what this has. Rocks, probably. Avalanche, yeah. I knew he had something. Right here, that does like zero. I don't think this gets a grass move. Shuffle. Room. Heat. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click Earth Power. We're gonna click Earth Power. So I think he goes Toxic Rope. Ferrothorn. He might go Ferrothorn actually now that I think about it. Shuckle. Knocked out. He's got it. I, I wrote down Shuckle twice. I am thrown off by the team he brought. I gotta focus. What did I not write down? Toxic Rope. He withdraws. Is he going to Toxic Rope? I don't know what this is. Ferrothorn. Okay, we do have the Weather Ball, but we do not have the Sun Up, so this is very sad. So, I'm obviously... How much damage did that do? 20%? Ferrothorn. That's Ferro Seed. I hate that that pops up first. Ferrothorn. From Gastron. He's lefties. Lefties. So, he spud that for sure. He's some amount of spud that. Obviously, our play here is Torkoal. I don't think we have another play. Some spud that. Uh, this thing does get, like, Bulldoze, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. He could also Leech Seed here. Hmm. Maybe I should go into Rupert, too. Rupert's not a, not a bad play. He could also Knock Off, which is going to be mad annoying, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I should have went with Heat Rock on Torkoal, just for this exact situation. Okay. He didn't. How do I win? How do I win? Actually, Rupert looks phenomenal, dude. Like, Rupert looks insane. Why did he not bring Hatterene? Rupert goes crazy, dude. I also just send in Weavile and click buttons. Okay, so we'll see what he does. I think he leech seeds. I think leech seeds pretty free. If he clicks hazards, I'm going to rapid spin. Leech seed. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to go back into Gastrodon. Because obviously he's not clicking... Um, What is he going on Torkoal? Potentially Rhyperior. I'm going to go back into Gastrodon. Because now we have, we have Weather Ball. He's not clicking Power Whip on my Torque Bowl. Worst he does is click Toxic, which could be really annoying, but we don't really need Gastron for anything. It covers the Rotom. It covers the Rhyperior. I think Gastron's a free double. 
I think that free double, dude. Hopefully we'd have weather ball. That would be phenomenal. He might have protect. He might protect here. That'd be fine. Really worst case. Well, he, we already know he's not. Um, we're slower. Wait, we should be slower. We're min speed, right? Oh my lord! Please tell me we're min speed. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, no, no. That means it was a speed tie. That means he's min speed too. Okay, so we get the we get the play right. I'm clicking surf into weather ball. I think it's my only play. Cause I don't want this thing to click like toxic for free. I'm gonna click surf into weather ball. He goes feral thorn. He's gonna think he's safe, and then we weather ball and blow that thing into the next century. Okay, I think we're. <laughs> I really hope the Torkoal's min speed too. Yeah, he didn't bring trick room, so it actually doesn't matter. That's okay. Um, I don't know what he does here. He might go Toxic Rope, actually. Toxic Rope's a pretty good play, because obviously I'm not clicking Earth Power here. That wouldn't make any sense. Could also go into Shuckle. Shuckle's a, I, I, the way he's playing right now, I think Shuckle's the win count. I think it's Shell Smash Shuckle, which I kind of look at some calcs for. He puts Toxic, so I'm glad I clicked Surf. So, he's got Toxic. We'll see how much investment he has based on this. Uh, I'm going to click Raw Weather Ball next turn, though, because there's in my mind, there's no reason in this world why he shouldn't go into... He's so spadaf. There's no reason in this world why he shouldn't go into Ferrothorn in here. Unless I have two turns of uh, some left, but I don't think I do. Let me see. Uh, info. I do, actually. So actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to click... Um, I think I'm gonna click Surf and I, I could click Earth Power actually. Earth Power is pretty free. Do I expect him to go into? Hmm. I think I'm gonna click Weather Ball, dude. Let's catch him slipping. Let's catch him slipping. I don't lose a whole lot if he stays in. Withdrew into Feral Thor. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my gosh, dude! I'm so good at game. I'm so good at this game. I am so good at Pokemon, dude. Somebody sign me. Somebody sign me, dude! I am so good at this game! Goodbye! No! What? No! He just turned off his switch because he got so mad! Oh my gosh, I am so good at this game, dude! I'm so good at game! He literally quit! So guys, we got a 6-0 forfeit win against Josh here. Let's get it going. <laughs> okay, we're back. You guys gotta relive the weather ball turn with me. As uh, we do end up going to... Where you are? I'm so excited. We kill the Ferrothorn with Weather Ball. Die. This should die. It actually is a roll to KO if he's max enough. So I really hope this actually KOs. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. So, we're back. Ferrothorn's gone. Um, I'm so stinking scared of the Shell Smash Shuckle, it's not even funny. Like, I have to position myself and never let it set up. Uh, especially if it's like Rest Talk. That's so, that's really annoying. The only way I really break it is gonna be... Muscling through it with Weavile, calm mining up with Necrozma, like it's gonna be very difficult. He sent me have fun, have fun. Okay, so it's gonna be very difficult. I don't know exactly what to do. Nanami, is this Shuckle? No, this is uh he's gonna tailwind for sure. There's no doubt in my mind he's gonna tailwind. Let me make sure this thing doesn't get any grass coverage. Even if it does, I think this Pokemon's kinda done its job. Knocked out. Grass. It does not get a single grass move. So you know what? Do I even need to calc it? Or do we just click uh, Weather Ball? I think we do just click Weather Ball. In the sun. What does that do? Zero. Oh, that's max but death. Uh, what are my other plays? I can go Flygon, actually. That'd be pretty good. I, like, obviously, I the the stupid... Can I go... Actually, could I go into... Necro? Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Necro and start setting up Calm Mines, I think. No. Okay, we're, we're just gonna click Weather Ball. I wanna see, I wanna learn some things about this set. We raised the turn of uh, Tailwind to. I, I assume he's gonna be Tailwind. He's actually not Tailwind. So, what was I actually gonna go into? I'm very glad I didn't go into it, whatever it was. Heat Wave. How much does this do? Zero. So, he's put that. So he's put that for sure. Uh, actually, I almost went to Flygon, didn't I? That would have been good. I wish I would have done that. Huh. I really hope I clicked the unpause button. Yeah, I did. 
Okay, so I think I go Flygon now, or I click Recover. He, maybe his plan was to force me into a Recover turn. What do I need this healthy for? Nothing in particular, I guess the Rhyperior. Maybe a Recover is necessary? Like, I don't need this Pokemon. I'm gonna click, uh, I guess I need a healthy for Rotom. We're gonna click Recover. So he's Heat Wave and he's Spadaf. Clicks Hurricane. Does this KO me? I don't think it does. We live and we get a Recover off. Okay. Well, this is not very good. We're not in a great position with this. Hmm. I mean, I could recover again and hope that he misses, but I don't like doing that. <laughs> and it's not a good play anyway, because he is uh, getting us with residual chip. So I think I'm going to go into Flygon. If he's defensive, this does about half. And regardless, I think this is our only real play. Flygon doesn't really serve a purpose anymore, I guess, except Stone Edge crits on the Shuckle are really nice, I suppose. That's literally it. Yeah, I guess that's, that's literally it. Now we can actually... Flygon's in a good, good spot, dude. Can we click Roost? Good play. Good play on his part. Roost. Hurricane. Uh, and we get a fire off, I think, the freest Stone Edge of my entire life. Or we could go... If we're feeling breezy, we go Iron Tail. I'm clicking Stone Edge. We should be faster than this Mon guaranteed. I think he's more on the spit off side based on how much that Weather Ball did. Uh, Stone Edge, if he's the max HP, does about 65 to 76. I do think he's going to go into Rhyperior. I think that's a pretty easy play on his part. I think that is Rhyperior, if I'm correct. Uh, and I've got a couple of plays. I can go Torkoal and set the sun up, which I think is what I'm going to do. That did literally zero. Is he lefties? He's lefties. Okay. Uh, so i got a couple of plays. I think that would be my best one. I don't think he clicks Avalanche again. So I could click Earth Power, but this Pokemon is pretty important. I feel like Drip is pretty free. I don't feel like he touches us. We can get a Recover off. We're pretty free. We should outspeed a lot of uh, Rhyperior, unless he's like max max speed, I guess. Uh, if he doubles back and knocked out, then really good play on Josh's part. Because obviously my plays here are going to be like Earth Power, Giga Drain, or... I don't even know. I don't know. If it, Aqua Tail? I don't think this gets Aqua Tail. Uh, if he pivots back and knocked out, it's a good play on Josh's part, for sure. I could totally see him doing that. We'll see if he does or not. That, that's a phenomenal play on Josh as far as he does. Gets his rocks up. Okay. So. I think I'm going to double. Expecting the knockout. I think I'm going to double expecting the knockout. Do I need this healthy? No. I don't. I do not. I don't lose it a lot going Flygon. He's obviously not clicking Avalanche on my Gastron. That doesn't make any sense. I think I think the double into Flygon being mad aggressive is fine. And if he does switch out, we do get to learn a little bit about this set. If he does just click Earthquake, then fine. Uh, and then we might actually just click Earth Power with Flygon right here. So either we're faster or he didn't switch out. And he just clicked Earthquake. Who was your uh, knockout? Show me knockout. Minami. Is this knockout? Knockout. Cool. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Iron Tail because it covers the Rhyperior and it also does damage to this and puts this in range of a Stone Edge, actually. This is a very ballsy player, but I don't think I have a real, really another one. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We actually need this. Yes. Well, that did so little. That didn't do damage. I think I forgot my damage at home. Hello, Iron Tail. So he's Fizz Def. He's very heavily Fizz Def. He doesn't lose a lot clicking Avalanche here. Uh, so he either doesn't have Rock Move or he doesn't have Earthquake. I can go to Snitch. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go Gastron again and pivot into uh, clicking Recover. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to do that. I should, I should have just stayed in. I should have just recovered in the first place on the rocks. But, we got damage off, though. If he clicks Earthquake, then good play. I think he has it. Earthquake, yeah. Okay, so I think we have to actually go into Venusaur now. Yeah, I think we have to go into Venusaur and click Grass Knot now. I don't really think we have another play, which is very sad. Yeah. My period is going to be an issue. I should have recovered, dude. I'm so mad at myself. That's okay. I grass not. I don't think I can afford anything else. 
Yeah, I don't think I can afford anything else. I don't think I beat Shuckle in the in-game, though, is the, the saddest part. Shuckle. That's something like max HP. Yeah, dude, Stone Edge does 25% to him if he's his death from Flygon. Like, I don't think we ever, ever, ever break Shuckle. But what does he do back to us? Like, nothing. Unless there's a Weavile knockoff, too? Plus 50? What? Okay. Yuko? That's a good switch. Grassland. This one's a problem. They did a lot more than I should have. Uh, so our switch into this is gonna be probably Flygon. He clicks. Doesn't click fighting move here. Flygon's pretty free on this, actually, yeah. And we gotta find out what this thing does. Oh, he could click Ice Punch! I'm so stupid. Ah, I made that play way too fast. He's clicking Ice Punch here. I made that play way too fast, dude. I should've went to Torkoal every single time. Yeah, that's my fault. That's absolutely my fault. I'm throwing the game. He deserves to win this. If he clicks Ice Punch, he deserves to win this. I, I clicked that way too fast. You saw the immediate realization on my face. Because why would he not have Ice Punch for the Venusaur and the Flygon, dude? Click Ice Punch. Go ahead. Kill me. Oh my gosh, what? Dude, he put Gunk Shot for her. <laughs> okay, we take those. Gunk Shot. Oh, that kind of blows, actually. I accidentally opened Minecraft. So we basically just got to get a play right with Flygon here. He thinks we're fully physical, though, so I think he's going to go into, um... I think he's going to go into uh, Rhyperior here, because he thinks we're fully physical. I click Earth Power. We don't break Rhyperior. Could have also went to Torkoal. I'm really regretting not having Solar Beam now. Click Sucker. Does this KO me? I guess so. Okay. Ha. <sighs> My for him. Okay. Torkoal. Um. Actually, Necroz is still looking really good in the in-game. Do I care about rocks a lot? Not particularly. We buy a lot of speeds everything. I think I can just fire off a Lava Bloom here. Or I can fire off a Rock Tomb, actually, as he goes into Rotom. Because this, this mod doesn't really threaten me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire off a rock to him. As he goes into Rotom. I'm going to assume Rotom. I can also go right here. I should have went for the Lava Plume to get the burn. I don't know. Josh brought a really good team, dude. Go Rotom? Can we, get, can we see a Rotom? That, that, that might be Rotom. That's Rotom! That's Rotom! We're going to do zero with this rock to him, though. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to get the Rapid Spin off now. I could Rock to him a second time. Into Rapid Spin. Actually, that looks like a good play. I'm going to Rock to him a second time into Rapid Spin. Because we actually live two Thunderbolts. Aha. That actually did a lot less than I thought it was going to. And now we're going to Rapid Spin? This thing still shouldn't be slower than me, is the crazy thing. So I'm gonna rapid spin now. He plane splits again, probably, just to cover the Venusaur switch out. Full switch, actually. Am I in range of a knockout hurricane now? Like, I st it doesn't- none of this matters, dude. I'm fairly confident I don't ever beat Shuckle. Assuming he's- because he told me he was bringing something really crazy. Assuming he shows Smash Shuckle, I don't think I beat it. And if I don't, that's... Uh, very annoying. Uh, actually, a Hurricane does not kill Torkoal from this range. Wait, actually, I didn't see what we were at after Bolt Switch. It does... If he's not invested, which I don't think he is, it does 55 to 66. Let's see what he goes into here. Hyperior is pretty free on his part, yeah. Ugh, I wish I had Solar Beam. Can Hyperior kill Necrozma? Actually, it doesn't do anything to Necro. Weavile with Earthquake? 
Hmm. Because I gotta save this, obviously. Is it time to go into Necro? I don't have Reliable Recovery, so I gotta remember that. I think I gotta go Snitch, man. I gotta go Snitch. He doesn't have Rock Move. He shouldn't be fearing a lot with this Pokemon, though. We can knock off, but that's about it. We know his full set. Stealth Rock, Avalanche. Right, don't we? No, we don't. He doesn't pick Rock Move here, does he? I'm playing way too fast, man. But Weavile was the only play anyway, because we need Torkoal for the Sun to for Venusaur. He actually switches out. Expecting Solar Beam? Do I think he's Scarf? Well, if he is Scarf, I get Necro for free, actually. That'd be phenomenal. I would actually prefer that. That would actually be beautiful. Best case scenario. I actually really hope he's Scarf. But he's not. No, because we saw we already saw Toxic Bolt Switch. Toxic into Bolt Switch, didn't we? Pain Splitting the Bolt Switch is what we saw. Yeah, okay. 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 This was the only play anyway. Because we couldn't sack Torkoal. I couldn't go Venusaur. I, I still need that Pokemon. Like, I can't break... I can't outspeed any of these things. And I need it. Necrozma is the only way I can win this game. Die. Die. Crit. Did not matter. We're banded. I don't think if that was max max... I didn't see what we knocked off. I don't think if that was max max defensive that it was it mattered. No. <laughs> and that never mattered. That was at what? 30? We did min 57 on, the, on a bad day. We're max adamant. So... Goodbye that Pokemon. I have to just click knockoff. Like, I have to sack this Pokemon. I sent it in for this, like... I sent it in because of this. Lefty's gone. Rock Blast. Snitch, I'm gonna need you to get hit twice, big fella. Ha. <laughs> okay. So... I have to go into Venusaur again. I really want to go Torkoal. This Earthquake from Hyperior. How much does that do to Venusaur with an Earthquake? 60%. I think I go into Dracio, pivot into Venusaur. That's like the only thing that I can think of to do. And then click Weather Ball, and then click in the Sun. I think I've just got to go into Rupert. How much does Necro do with the Photon, actually? Necro can kill with a Photon from here. It's a, it's a roll. I'm gonna go Venusaur. Okay, I'm gonna go Venusaur and I'm gonna pivot back into Torkoal. And the reason I'm pivoting back into Torkoal is because he has one of two plays. He either goes into... To, um, he either goes into Toxicroak or he kills me. And if he kills me... If he kills my Torkoal, I get back into Venusaur with Sunup, and it's much better. So we switch out first, obviously. Toxicro should be free. He knows I have Weather Ball, and it's not boosted by any weather. He should go Toxicro here. And if he doesn't, then he kills us. We go right back into Venusaur, and we're in a good spot. Toxicro. Yes, I think so. I think that's Toxicro, right? No, you're not Toxicro. Who are you? You're not Toxicro. But this is actually ideal for... This is ideal for Necrozma. I'm clicking Lava Plume, going Necrozma, and I'm going to try to win this game. Heat Wave. Does this KO me? In the sun? Probably. Tinted Lens? No, it doesn't, actually. So we're going to we're gonna get some very valuable chip on this Pokemon. I, I Lava Plume, by the way, just in case he went back into Rhyperior so I could snag a potential burn on it. Kill me. What is he doing? Is he stalling out the turns? Okay, I'm gonna rock to him the following turn, because clearly he's gonna stay in. Can I get a burn? I, I, I hate this game. Uh, I'm gonna rock to him this time. I'm gonna rock to him this time. Do I need, how much does a gunk shot from Toxic Croak do to Venusaur? Toxic Croak. Gunk shot to Venusaur, doesn't KO me. Quick Heat Wave, and he does KO us. So we go Necrozma. Uh, Toxicroak Sucker is a lot. How much is to go to Necrozma? We go Necrozma. Uh, 
Do I calm mind? I think I start calm minding. Do I calm mind or do I totemize? I think I calm mind. Knocked out. I think I calm mind. I think I calm mind. I think I calm mind. E wave. It should not do a ton. Yeah. Okay. And now we totemize. Sunlight faded. So now he's relying on... And we have leftovers. Phenomenal. Okay. I gotta think this out. I gotta think this in-game out. I don't think we can win because Josh has played phenomenally. But... And I played very poorly. Alright, Calm Mind again. Do I need a Calm Mind again? I can just Atomize, I think. Outspeed the Toxic Curve. Does that matter? It does matter. He actually KOs me with a Gunk Shot. He's gonna let this die because he wants this to die to go into Toxic Curve. To KO me with a Gunk Shot. He withdrew. Okay, so we get the Atomize off. It goes into this. We got the Atomize off. Okay. Toxic Curve. Sucker Punch. Does not do half to us. We should always KO this Rhyperia plus one, correct? I mean, we don't have another play, do we? We don't have another play, do we? Die. Please die. Please, oh, please, oh, please die. Thank you. Okay. That was a crit. I, that did not matter. If he was max, max, but definitely did min 62. We're, we are 212 mods. We are a big, thick Necrozma. And now we're almost back up to full. This is phenomenal. We are in a great spot here. The only problem is the Shuckle. I don't know if we break the Shuckle. Toxic Rogue. He might go Toxic Rogue to get some damage first. Oh, here's the issue. Oh, here's the issue. He's Shell Smash. I know he's Shell Smash. Do I Photon? Do I waste a Photon? Or do I start Calm Mining up with him? I'm gonna photon in case he's not show smash. There's two shots. Come on, come on, no name. Whew. Toxic. He's not. He's not. He's not show smash. <laughs> Dude, no name. I'm gonna need you get this roll here. I'm gonna need you get this roll here. No name. You're gonna have to get this roll here for me, baby. Oh, he's lefties. Do I calm mind? I think I calm mind here. I calm mind as he uh, potentially rests. Tax script is about half to me. It depends on what button he clicks. I think he's clicking rest. And then photon should two shot. I should click photon three times and win the game. Four times. I think. Infestation? No! He's gonna be protect a crit. I don't think that matters. I'm gonna be honest. It didn't matter. I had to call him in there, didn't I? Toxicroco is in range to kill us with sucker, though. Is the only issue. And then he can just spam sucker because the toxic's gonna put us in range. Uh, actually, it's gonna be close if we're in range or not. If he's protect, we're gonna be in range. Photon. Don't be protect. Do not be protect. Do not be protect. Do not be protect. <laughs> oh my gosh, he had to have lived on one dude. That's so frustrating. I can't win this game. Nah, there's absolutely no way I can win this game. Um. Sixty-eight. If he died, would we have uh? There's a roller kill with toxic. I can't beat Josh. Die. Look, I did seventy that time. Is this a joke?
I have to hope he misses like 300 hurricanes. That is a good win con. No, because actually we would have guaranteed lived the Sucker Punch, and we would have killed either... No, we would have won if we actually killed there. Okay, I'm playing this out in my head, we would have won if we killed there, because we would have been free of infestation, we would have only taken toxic damage, so we wouldn't have been down to 68. It was a roll when we were at 68%, so if we got freed of infestation, we wouldn't have taken that extra, what, 6% or whatever, so we would have been out of the roll. And then, and then we would have been able to Oko the Knockout, we would have been able to kill the Knockout, or we would have been able to kill the Toxic Curve. Regardless of the outcome, I think Rupert can kill whichever other one. I think Rupert can kill one of the two. I don't think he can kill both. I hope you miss very many Hurricanes, Josh. I'm going to be honest. I hope you miss, like, 13 Hurricanes. We, uh, I hope you miss a lot. Heat wave. Does this even two shot me actually? Actually, I don't think so. Can we get a poison so we can uh, synthesis him? Synthesis up? Can we get a poison? Awesome. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hope he either misses Hurricane here or doesn't kill us with the heat wave. That way we can synthesis up. What if I just Dynamax? What if I just risk it all? That's my boy. That's the boy, Rupert. Uh, however, no matter what happens, I don't think we ever beat Toxic Rope now. Unless he misses. If he misses, actually, if he misses a Heat Wave or a Hurricane, we can win. Because Gunk Shot does like 80% to us. So, our bet here is he clicks one of the two and misses, and then we can win. That's, uh, I, I, like the, I don't like the odds. <laughs> is Heat Wave 95? smart that's smart that's super super smart that's super super smart but actually does that make hurricane 100 percent accurate defog's 0.75 i think he still has a chance to miss hurricane does he die no we're clicking synth again because he does about 75 percent with the uh with the hurricane he's about 75 percent yeah And we actually put it in a roll if we get the synth off. Okay. It's actually in range of a roll, then. What are we at? 121? It's it. We're in range of a roll. Uh, we don't ever kill Toxic Rope, though. Well, how low is this Toxic Rope? If it was it. Um, we've got to hope for two gunk shot misses. How much does Weather Ball do outside of the sun? Sludge Bomb's doing the most. I'm clicking Synthesis again, in case he has Ice Punch. Gunk shot. If he has a chance to kill us here. Is, it, is a mid roll. Yeah, he killed us. Okay, well, that's going to be a good game to Josh. I'm very upset that the, uh, the roll on the... The roll on Necrozma didn't happen, because I'm pretty sure that Shuckle lived on legitimately one, and I'm pretty positive we won if that didn't happen. But I played awful. I'm not going to deny that. I played absolutely horrible. This is the worst game I have played in a very long time, and I still only lost 1-0, and in my opinion, because of a roll. But what are you going to do? Be sure to check out Josh's side down below. And for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.